So the Crunchyroll Anime Awards were quite something this year, but I think we all can agree a certain few anime were missing in the nominations, especially for Anime of the Year. Today I want to do some fan art duels in different positions while also telling you my personal top 10 anime for 2022. This list will include series from the fall season of anime and my top 2 series of the year will probably shock you. Starting the list off at number 10 is Mob Psycho 100 Season 3. Mob Psycho 100's final season aired in the fall and it was a very good conclusion to this beloved series. For me, my favorite part was when Shigeo was finding Dimple in the Divine Tree. It was very well animated and I am going to miss this series. It's been a great ride and Mob Psycho 100 will be missed. Number 9 is My Hero Academia Season 6. It has been more than two years since we had a great season of My Hero Academia and this season delivered and it is absolutely awesome. The war arc in my opinion really shifted the tone of the series and a lot of things were revealed in this series that has gotten me and a lot of fans to really, really enjoy this season. From the reveal of Dobby's true character to the lovely character design of Lady Nagant and her introduction to the series, which in my opinion, I believe sh there should be a prequel series of her character because there is so much story behind her character. But overall, My Hero Academia Season 6 has been very amazing. Number 8 is Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2. Attack on Titan, the final season, has taken quite a while to end. It was announced the final season ever since back in, I believe, 2020, 2021. And so far, Studio Mappa is taking their time to finish off this series. But so far, Part 2 has had a good run. Fight sequence with Aaron and Reiner and the people from Marley coming into Paradis to fight back. It was a very good animation sequence. The sniper shot from Gabby had a lot of fans, including myself, very shocked. The one critique I would have about it is the background to Ymir and how the Titans were created, in my opinion. I feel like that sequence was not explained in detail, in my opinion. I feel like that was something that should have been explained more. But overall, it was a good part for the final season. And the Titan Titan will go down in history as one of the greatest animes to ever come out. Coming in at number seven is Call of the Night. Call of the Night is a very interesting series. This series is something that I really want to see more of. What got me intrigued about this series was when the trailer released for this series during the summer of last year, I believe, and it showed the theme, the theme called Call of the Night. And overall, watching this series, in my opinion, I think it had one of the best OSTs of an anime for 2022, in my opinion. Um, it was a very lo-fi hip-hop type, and it really captured that with the backgrounds, in my opinion, because the backgrounds of this series were very, very well designed, and the artists and the illustrators did a really good job picking a great color palette for each design and each background. And overall, the story was pretty interesting. There was, there was surprisingly some good action animation set pieces, and both Nazuna and Ko's characters are very interesting. And I hope that we get to see more of this series in terms of the anime. I really do hope they do another season. Number six is Classroom of the Elite. Classroom of the Elite is a series that a lot of people thought would never receive another season. And last year, it was announced that we were getting a season two and a season three. But season two of Classroom of the Elite has been highly, highly underrated, in my opinion for 2022, especially during the summer season. We can see how Ayana Koji played chess with students and other classmates in his school, and it has been very, very amazing. Arguably the best part of season two was episode 12, when Ayana Koji was fighting Ryujin. It was a very engaging series, and I love how the animators used the background and the shadows in the room to make Ayana Koji look so menacing while he was beating down Ryujin's classmates. Classroom of the Elite, this season has been really, really good, and I cannot wait for season three. Coming at number five is Cyberpunk Edge Runner. If you watched the Country Road Awards, you saw that Cyberpunk was named the Anime of the Year. And as much as I want certain other series to have gotten Anime of the Year, I agree with this choice because Cyberpunk was that series that came at us out of nowhere and it blew everything out of the park, in my opinion. Studio Trigger is a studio that does amazing series from series like Kill a Kill to Keys and Ivers. They've done a lot of amazing series and this series was really, really good. They did a good job with the character design. They had really good, cool backgrounds and the tone really matched with this series, in my opinion. The only critique I would have about this series is that since this was a one and done season, I would have hoped that Studio Trigger should have made this, in my opinion, a 24 to 26 episode series, 
with two cores in my opinion um, that's just my personal opinion but overall this was an amazing series and i do agree that this tower punk was named anime Year. i do agree with this choice coming in at number four is summertime rendering summertime render was another highly highly underrated series for 2022 in my opinion this supernatural murder mystery was arguably one of the most amazing series i have seen in 2022 if it wasn't for the disney plus jail i feel like a lot of fans would have noticed the series sooner and this would easily have been nominated for a bunch of things for anime of the year in my opinion if you're a fan of series like erased or higurashi then you would love this series the mystery and the phenomenon behind this entire behind this entire story was just really well crafted in my opinion if you have not seen summertime rendering i highly suggest you watch this series most of you might be surprised on this next series on where i have it placed but number three is chainsaw man if it wasn't for a other certain series i would easily have placed chainsaw man as my number two spot for my list um, Chainsaw Man has been a series that has been hyped for a very, very long time, long before an anime was greenlit. This series is very different in terms of the common shonen genre of manga, in my opinion. It's very unique, and the character motivations and the story overall is very graphic in tone, and it's pretty raw. And honestly, it was one of the biggest hits of the fall season, especially here in the West. Every new episode was stellar. It had different ending themes for each episode and the story, the animation, and the action was absolutely amazing. Studio MAPPA has done a really great job adapting this series and I can't wait until we get Core 2, especially if you've seen the ending scene after the last episode of episode 12. If you know that character, especially you manga readers, you know what's coming next for the next Core. And I cannot wait. And since I put Chainsaw Man here at number three, you're probably wondering what did I put for number two. Number two really took some time and thought to, in terms of like where I wanted to place the series. But honestly, I had to put the series here because of just how great the story is in terms of how these characters, especially these new characters, develop. And I'm talking about season two of Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss season two is honestly one of the best fantasy animes I've ever seen. And honestly, I had to put it over Chainsaw Man just because of I was not expecting how good this season was going to be. The series has always been dark and edgy, but the introduction of the ruthless and deadly Fakta and the history of Imori and Veiko and the others that reside in the small city, it really showed how dark this series is. And in terms of an adventure series, this series is arguably on top in terms of like anything I've ever seen. The fact that that it's just kids makes it even more just sad terrifying but at the same time like you just want to like see more of it number one is pretty obvious and that is of course bleach bleach had one of the greatest comebacks of an anime ip we have ever seen probably even better than the return of dragon ball back in 2013 Studio Pira has did a fantastic job adapting the Thousand Year Blood Orc, and some are saying that this arc is better than the fourth grade Ninja War from Naruto. As you all know, one of my favorite scenes from the Thousand Year Blood War arc is the Unohana and Kampachi sequence. That whole story, everything about it was absolutely amazing. To this day, the reveal of Unohana's character in the manga is one of the biggest surprises to me in terms of a character revealing like their true personality their two true traits and overall this was a great series and i am happy to see that tactical is the one who's working closely with the staff including writing the scripts and reviewing everything and that just shows like how much love and passion he has for his series and these are my top 10 animes for 2022 and here are the doodles let me know what you guys think i really want to hear your top 10 anime for 2022 comment below on what it was i do have some honorable mentions for 2022 um some of the animes that didn't make the list but i did enjoy them like i did enjoy the final fight scene of demon slayer season two in the red light district arc i did enjoy uh, ranking of kings the second core and mishoku tensei i did enjoy my dress up darling spy family Avakisa uniform and the witch from Mercury. 
there are some series I haven't watched yet, like Blue Lock, Stone Ocean, 86, and Overload, but I will find a way to watch them soon. But yeah, this is my list for 2022, my favorite anime. Um, I can't wait to do this again for the end of 2023. And um, if you enjoyed what I have to say, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. For those of you who made it to the end of the video, please leave me a like and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And also ring the bell so you can stay notified for whenever I upload anything new. But that's all I have for this one. This is The Wave Blur, signing off.